In our demonstration, we will be looking at publishing the data from our real-time sources such as a PLC or sensor into the Insight portal. Shown on the screen is the configuration for our Modbus TCP driver that is used to connect to our simulated Modbus data. Within your own setup, you should already have this pre-configured before you continue on to the next steps. For the sake of time, we've already pre-configured the connection to our simulated Modbus data and we'll continue on to the configuration of our Insight Publisher. First, navigate to the Windows icon and select the Aviva folder. Within the Aviva folder, select the Insight Publisher sample. This sample configuration provides us the foundation on how to configure our real-time sources into the cloud. These settings should closely resemble your settings that you've previously created within the communication driver setup. Once satisfied with the res result, save and close the configuration and we'll proceed on to the next steps. Navigate once again to the Windows icon and select the Aviva folder. Within the Aviva folder, select the Insight Publisher. You will now be prompted with three options to publish data into the cloud. The first option is to publish the Insight data source from a pre-existing InTouch application. Second option is to import the Excel spreadsheet configuration with list items from our OPC, MQTT, or OI data sources. And last, finally create an authentication token for web services such as the REST API. Select the Import option. You will get another prompt for the Insight configuration. Navigate to the file and select Open. Another prompt will be for hosting your data within a particular region. Select the region most closest to your location. You will get another prompt for your account details. If you have a pre-existing account, please enter in your credentials or create a new account. You now select the solution that you want to store your information onto. You will now be also asked to enter in a data source name. In this case, I'm going to enter in as OI server. Now, you'll be prompted for entering your locational data. This is an optional step, so you can skip it if you want to. Same thing goes for this selection here. We can enter in the latitude, longitude, and elevation values for this data source. This is an optional step. Once you've completed the setup, open up a web browser and navigate to the Insight portal. Select the solution that we've stored our data onto. And navigate to the administration page and select data sources. And verify that your information is actually being updated to the cloud. You should see that your information is being updated within a few seconds or minutes, depending on how long it takes for you to get to the website. An alternative method to verify if your data is being sent to the cloud is going back to the home page and searching in the tag information that you have for your, uh, for your devices or search for your data source. In our case, it's going to be OI server. Select the actual service and see all the information being updated on the system here. You can highlight the tag values to see if any, any tags are being updated and deselect them as usual. Keep in mind, this same workflow can be applied to any and all of our communication drivers. We can also extend this to our external vendors of OPC, OPC UA, and MQTT drivers. Thanks for watching.